はい行きましょういただきまーす Dashi is a basic broth of fish or vegetables. It is an important component when cooking Japanese food. Dashi is packed with savory umami and it becomes the base flavor of a lot of Japanese dishes. In this video, we will show you how to make dashi with different ingredients such as katsuo dried bonito flakes, kombu dried sea kelp, niboshi dried sardine, And shiitake mushroom. We will also show you instant dashi. We can make dashi with single ingredients or combine different ingredients to create your own flavored dashi. Katsuo dashi is probably the most common and versatile. It has plenty of fish umami flavor, but not too fishy. It is used in a lot of Japanese dishes such as soup and simmered vegetables. It is very simple to make. Heat water in a pot at medium high heat and add a handful of dried bonito flakes. Let boil for a couple of minutes, then strain and discard the bonito flakes. And this can be a base of a lot of Japanese dishes. Now we are going to make a simple dish with potatoes and seasoning. Peel potatoes and cut it to four pieces. And boil dashi and add the potatoes. Boil at medium heat until the potatoes become soft. Add one tablespoon sugar, two tablespoons soy sauce, and one tablespoon mirin. And cook until the liquid is reduced to less than half. And cool in the pot, covered to let potato absorb the flavor. It's a simple dish but packed with flavor. Kombu dashi is a milder broth and has more subtle flavor. It doesn't use fish, so it is a great option for vegetarian dishes. Kombu dashi is a good by itself, but works especially well when mixing with other umami packed ingredients. Soak the dried kombu for 30 minutes, or you can soak in the fridge overnight. Put the same water and kombu in a pot and turn on the heat. Cook at medium heat. Until just before boiling, and remove the kombu. This delicate flavored broth is perfect for hot pot dishes. Here we are making simmered tofu called yudofu. Gently drop the tofu pieces in the kombu dashi and simmer for about seven minutes. Tofu will observe the umami from the kombu. Serve with chopped green onions and pour ponzu sauce or plain soy sauce. Niboshi dashi is a broth made with small dried sardines. This flavorful broth is good for dishes that need a little more kick of fish flavor. It's important to remove the head and innards from the dried sardines before cooking so that the broth doesn't get a bitter taste or undesirable fish smell. To make dashi, add water and niboshi in a pot and let soak for 30 minutes. We will bring this to a boil at medium heat. We are making miso soup using the combination of niboshi and katsuo dashi today. By combining the ingredients, the flavor becomes richer. After boiling for a few minutes, remove the niboshi and katsuo bushi. Add cubed tofu and wakame seaweed. As always, you can also use any vegetables you like in the miso soup. Add about two tablespoons miso paste and let it dissolve in the broth. This dashi has rich savory flavor and it turned the ordinary miso soup into an upgraded soup. Top with some chopped green onions and you can serve this with any meal. Shiitake mushroom dashi is the water in which dried shiitake mushrooms are rehydrated. This broth has very distinctive and quite strong mushroom flavor. It's often used when cooking vegetables or together with the rehydrated shiitake mushrooms to enhance the mushroom flavor even more. Shiitake mushroom dashi is great for cooking simmered vegetable, noodle dipping sauce, and takikomi gohan seasoned rice. 
all we need to do is to soak dried shiitake mushrooms in water until soft and remove mushrooms. You can of course cook the rehydrated mushrooms in a broth. We will share the recipe of this shiitake mushroom side dish in our upcoming video. There are instant versions of any kind of dashi, often granular or powder form, available at Japanese markets. Or you can find packets like this, similar to tea. You can make pretty decent dashi broth in no time. Instant dashi is very convenient when cooking with limited time. We use it too. However, real dashi always beats the artificial flavorings. It's not that hard to make dashi as long as you have the basic ingredients. So stock up your pantry and make dashi from scratch for your next Japanese meal.